welcome. So in WordPress 5.0, which is coming out sometime later in 2018, I'm recording this uh, just for reference's sake, at, at the end of February in 2018, um, WordPress is getting a new visual editor. So you're probably used to this kind of um, experience of the editor um, where you've got this kind of toolbar and it's like a box and that kind of thing. Well, Gutenberg is gonna improve that and make it a little different. I'm gonna move this post to the trash. Um, uh, and the way to get that experience before WordPress 5.0 comes out and contains it um, is to go to plugins and add new and you're going to add a plugin called Gutenberg. Um, this is a kind of common uh, thing that WordPress has done where you have a plugin that will be included in Decor at some future point uh, and Gutenberg is a example today. Um, so I'm going to install and activate the Gutenberg plugin. And what that has done is a couple things. The biggest one is that it's given me this Gutenberg thing down here. When this is in core, uh, this menu that I've got right here will go away. But for right now, it's a great way to quickly give feedback on Gutenberg and um, to go and uh, kind of try it out. So the demo of Gutenberg kind of gives you uh, a pre-built post that includes some of the cooler features of the Gutenberg editor, like the way that this image has kind of broken out of the containing column of content, and the way that this text is right aligned while the ones above and below are independent blocks which are normally or left aligned. Um, there are also, as I scroll down more, there's the gallery, and then there's this completely full width image that the, the Gutenberg editor shows. Now, I would make clear that your theme will have to support um, this extra wide image view and this, uh, this kind of f f gallery um, thing or this wider image. And so like I am running the 2017 theme on, here on my site and if I preview this post right here, you'll notice that this image is not wider than the containing area and nor is, um, is this one which was wider um, nor is that full width. And that's because a theme kind of has to add CSS support for those features. I mean, it still works really well. You can totally see the image, you know, there's no big harm in this not being supported, but it is a kind of inconsistency that you will have before a theme has made itself compatible with Gutenberg in a forward, uh, forward uh, way. So because WordPress didn't used to have this wider and widest feature, um, you don't have it until you build it you include it into a theme, which will require that your theme update um, for that to happen. But really, all you're doing uh, based on this is installing and activating that Gutenberg plugin. So you can see the demo. And the other thing that's neat is that you can use on any of your posts, you can use the classic editor or the edit slash Gutenberg mode. Um, well, Gutenberg remains a plugin. And so if you've got existing content and you jump into editing it in Gutenberg, you'll sort of see the transition experience. And if you've got content uh, that you need to edit in the old way, you can just click on Classic Editor. Um, if, you're, if you try out Gutenberg and are like, I want to never have Gutenberg, there is actually a plugin um, for that called Classic Editor that you can use. Um, and if you install that, even when WordPress 5.0 comes out and later, uh, this is a plugin supported by WordPress itself for the sake of making sure you still get the old editor. Um, so that's kind of the way you should try out and get ready, start to get ready for Gutenberg. Um, there, Gutenberg has lots of features that I'm not gonna go into at this instant, but that's how you can kind of get it installed and play with it, which is gonna get you a lot farther than reading endless articles about it anyway. All right, cheers.